is upcycle fam so for my last video as you saw and i'll link that one in the very end i rode with some snow riders and the whole time i was i kept repeating over and over i need a stunt bike i need a stunt bike so i had a dilemma i had three choices i could either a turn my from into a stunt bike which uh yeah i don't like that idea or b turn the ktm into a stunt bike which i actually really like that idea and uh i will end up doing it anyway but eh, there's a few little funky things about it like uh ride by wire not the best for stunning or of course i could do it to this group No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I could not do that. That's, no. That's too painful. My other option was to buy an already built one. So obviously that's the option that I went with. And uh, she's mine. Now I just gotta learn how to ride her because uh, I'm not a stunt rider. As you can tell, uh, if you've been following with my videos, I am a, I'm a fast rider. A stunt rider. So I guess all that's left is uh, let's go take her for a little ride. Hi, y'all. Let's take her for a rip. This is legitimately the first time that I've ridden this bike. Like, no bullshit, no joke. First things first, this is very strange. <laughs> I am not even gonna lie. Oh god, that's gonna take so much getting used to! Oh my god, these gears are so short! Oh yeah, this feels really weird! I don't even know why, but it feels super weird. Oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to riding a super sport with handlebars. Now, how do people do this? Yeah, this is my first time ever on a stunt bike. And it's my own, which is kind of cool. Yeah, everything about it is weird. Not even gonna lie. How's the balance on it? Okay. Balance is pretty good though. Oh yeah. This is weird. I like it though. I like it. I'm gonna have to apologize right now. I am not gonna do any stunt riding, any wheelies, nothing on this first video because I'm not even gonna lie, I'm still absolutely terrified of it. So the funny thing about me is I can ride through very slow traffic at 140 miles an hour. I'm not at all afraid of going through a canyon that I do not know way too fast. That doesn't scare me. 
But for some reason, revving it, pulling this little lever right here and just letting it go, scares the shit out of me. Absolutely terrifies me. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of unexplainable. Power wheelies, okay. You know, if I'm taking off quick and my front wheel comes up, that's okay with me. But actually purposefully doing a wheelie for some reason scares the crap out of me. Uh, the last few things that this bike is gonna need, I mean obviously, you know, little classic knickknacks. This is the original paint though, which is uh absolutely insane. Yeah, which is absolutely insane to me. We're right being a stuff bike. Um, this is an 04 636, so the same thing as mine, just older. Now this, I mean, if you watch anybody else, Dank Wheelie, Brian 636, they all ride this bike. And the reason being is it's pretty much a tank. This and the F4i are some of the strongest bikes out there. So yeah, the only things that this bike really needs are, you know, a little, like the windscreen, that's the only plastic that's broken on it, the whole bike. It's just this little bit right here. Uh, it needs a 12 o'clock bar, since it's just a naked tail right now. And honestly, until I get that, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any stunts. I don't trust myself. I would like there to be a little bit more protection in the rear, but I'm probably gonna order that either, well, tonight or tomorrow. God knows when it'll come in though, unfortunately. Riding with handlebars is so weird. Alright, let's see if I can't say what's up to my buddy. Turning is very weird too. Turning at speed feels about the same, but turning at slow speed, I don't know, it just feels like it wants to dive in and fall over. More so than with clip-ons. Which is, uh, it's a little strange. Uh, the other thing that this bike needs is a stunt tank, but that's obviously down the line some. Is anybody home? Oh, we got... What do we got here? <clears throat> God, I love this bike already. I mean, basically everything about it is just pristine. Literally. Pristine. Let's see if we can't get a hold of my buddy. I'm an idiot. He doesn't get off for like another hour. But, so back to the first ride. I'm gonna lie, y'all. I am terrified of this thing. And I don't know why. I mean, I shouldn't be that scared. But I definitely need to get used to it. I mean, at speed, it feels great. But it's just such a different motorcycle. Like, literally, the only thing that's really that different are the bars. Everything else is kind of the same. I mean, you know, the, the sprocket's way, way different. But, you know, it's not world different. I mean, this thing, my KTM has bars on it, and this thing feels way different from even my KTM. Another thing is, is uh, the torque difference down low is huge compared to my bike. My 2020 pulls like a ripper from down low, and this thing really has 
nothing. Literally. It just, it, it feels like, oh no, no, no. Oh. That's gross. Oh. I'm excited. I hope y'all are excited. I hope y'all are excited. This is gonna be a journey that I take with you. Um, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for uh, more of this bike. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to it, so it's gonna be a little while until I'm doing any dank nooners. But I will get there, I promise. I will not give up until I do. Howdy y'all. Peace.